Hello everybody, today's topic is screen time. What is it and is it really bad for the kids? Find out with me and let's get talking. Hi, if you're new here, I'm Teacher Kay and I'm a certified speech language pathologist. Today's topic is about screen time. I'm going to tell you what constitutes as screen time is it bad for kids and what we can do as alternatives? This is one of those topics that I could go on and on about, but I'm going to try to condense it into a couple of minutes. So first let's define screen time that I will be talking about today. That is the amount of time that your child, whether they're infants or toddlers or school age, the amount of time that they spend in front of a screen with moving pictures. Now let's talk about the different screens. It could be your phone, your tablet, a handheld video game device, those screens in your car when you're on rides or a movie cinema. Now the concern of some people is that, yes, but I leave them watching an educational program or an educational app where they can learn how to spell different words. But regardless of what they're doing with a screen, screen time is screen time. Why am I even talking about this? Let's connect it to language. From forever, language is learned by interactions with other people. Now screens, even if there are people talking on it, is not considered an interaction because no matter how you look at it, it's still just one way. The screen is talking one way and does not respond intuitively to whether or not your child reacts or responds to the screen. So it's not an interaction, it is one way, though two-sided if you get what I mean. So very simplistically, the first problem with screen time is it takes away from human interaction, one-on-one -on -one talking and communicating with each other. Now, if you're thinking, is that it? Is that the danger? Yun na ba yung argument mo? No, I have more. As time goes by, more and more studies are being done to see the relationship between screen time and other learning development patterns. One of these studies discovered that babies before 12 months old who were given screen time of more than two hours were six times more likely to have language delays. Another study showed that children who had screen time beyond two hours per day had lower communication scores later on in their development. But ito na, the most shocking for me are the studies that show screen time as sort of a form of early addiction in babies, in children. Let's find out why. This study says that screen time is such an enjoyable activity that it releases dopamine. Dopamine is the feel-good hormone that our body has. So this is the same reaction that our body produces when it is given sugar. Kaya diba, nakakahapi yung sugar sa mga bata. And dopamine is always, this feels good, let's have some more of it. So the more that your children have screen time, the more they will seek more. And then it becomes a habit and a sort of addiction for children. And that's what becomes scary is because they will want so much screen time that they will want nothing else in their environment. No other stimuli can be as enticing or as exciting. I mean, let's look at it this way. Tayo nga, kapag binge watch tayo ng Netflix or something, and we find it really enjoyable, but it's so hard to stop. You'll always keep saying, just one more episode before I sleep, just one more episode, tapos makita mo, inumaga ka na, tinapos mo na yung kay drama. And that's us as adults. And we already have some form of self-regulation in our minds, or supposedly. Hmm. Um, but... All the more for children who have no self-regulation in the beginning. So there's just trying to learn um, impulse control and delaying gratification. And all of that is shattered by screen time because screen time promotes now, 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 more colorful, more sounds, everything just super stimulating in your face. 
Some studies even show that depending on your genetic predisposition to your response to dopamine, depending on the amount of dopamine that your body is producing, it could even generate violent behavior, aggressive behaviors. Some studies also show that screen time keeps our children in a state of hyper arousal. And this means that yes, while they are stimulated, they are also so stimulated to the point of being exhausted. And some of this has shown an impact on sleep quality even. And you know how important sleep is in children because that is when, when all of our bursts of growth happen. Among all the articles and studies that I read, it was very evident that there is a relationship between having screen time at all and the duration of screen time to short-term memory problems, attention problems, impulse control, a demand for instant gratification, language and speech problems, and later on some reading problems. So the answer to my own question in the intro, which I actually took from a lot of real life comments that I've heard from my own clients or other people around me is that no, it is not some new age parenting mumbo jumbo na pinagbabawalan yung screen time sa mga babies and infants and toddlers. They are based on science and studies and investigations. So that's my evidence to show that screen time is not good for infants and toddlers and school age kids. Basically, children that are still trying to develop their self-soothing, self-calming, self-regulation patterns in their life. So that said, I'm going to try to address the most frequently shared concerns from my clients and my friends with regard to screen time. We would like more families to have access to this information, so please share. And thank you for being here. If you have some thoughts about this episode, feel free to comment below or you can reach me at Teacher K Talks on Facebook and Instagram. And that's it, and happy talking! Bye.